Good day everyone! This is Educational Video Tips presented by LRMS Hingoog Part 1. We do not need expensive equipment to record the videos. The last thing we want to do is bust our wallets. We can use our phone camera or laptop camera. What's important is the audio. Now we need the audio to be clear. This is why we need the right location. Find a location that has less noise and less echo. Make sure that the phone you're using is close to you, like in your chest. For budget audio recording, you can use your headset. Position your camera right here. Do not look down on the camera. Your camera should be above your eyes. You don't want your audience to see through your nostrils and divided chin. According to research, learners' engagement in instructional videos starts to drop at the 6-minute mark. This is probably the most important tip of this video, so listen carefully. Keep your video short. Chunk your instructional materials into parts. You can plan this ahead by making a script and storyboard. Minimize cognitive overload by dumping too much text or information in one go. Give them time to process, let us adapt to them. There is a reason why TikTok is popular, because that is how most people nowadays keep their attention span, only less than a minute. Pick a video format. You can use animation, live action, or screencast. If it prefers a combination of animated instructional video with a live teacher on screen. But, if you are in a tight budget and working alone, you can still produce good quality videos through screencast accompanied by a clear audio. Hello everybody and welcome to Pythagorean Basics Part 2. Okay, so in this lesson, our goal is that students will be able to apply the Pythagorean theorem to find the length of a missing triangle leg. And you know, there's actually something missing from this goal as well, which is that we can only use the Pythagorean theorem to find the missing leg of a right triangle. So I'm going to write right here to find the length of a missing triangle leg in a right triangle triangle. So before we get started, let's just do a quick vocabulary review because some of you might be scratching your heads thinking, wait a minute, triangles have legs? They do indeed have legs. They also have hypotenuses right there. That is the hypotenuse. And we know because it is across from the right angle, and that also means that the other two sides, this one and this one, the ones that touch the right angle, are the legs of the triangle. That is it for this video. Hang in there for part two.